Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and today we're celebrating um, my uh, subscriber milestone. I've reached and exceeded uh, 2,000 subbies. Who knew? Um, I just it just blows me away to know that um, that all of you are out there and that uh, you enjoy. <laughs> watching all this craziness and uh, and hearing the, the silly stories. Um, I thank each and every one of you, and um, before I get into my layout, I wanna show um, my lovely box of prizes. I have ephemera, washi tape. The washi tape was donated by Christina at, um, Redefine Creative, and uh, I have some Jen Hadfield ephemera. I have some Vicki Booten stamps, a little art journaling tab, some autumn um, papers, six by eight papers, uh, some Discover and Create uh, paper repack, and Discover and Create stencils. So lots of, of fun. I'll be drawing. If you, um, um, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, if you are a subscriber, please and, and like, subscribe, and comment. Those are the, the three things. <laughs> if, you've, uh, if you're already a subscriber, I will know that. Uh, and if you like and uh, comment on this video, and there will be lots of others in the hop, and they will be driving you here to me. I hope you'll check them out. I'll have a list of all of them in my description box. So uh, they will be uh, doing a scrap lift, and I'm doing a scrap lift. I'm scrap lifting me, <laughs> and, and I will uh, get into that now. This is the page that I'm scrap lifting. Um, it was a, a scrap lift that I did for Scrap Squad Sunday. And it, the big main feature was this big tag. So I cut that tag out. I, I stamped some stitching on it, used a small photo here, and did a lot of die cutting and kept it within this color scheme of different shades of, of purple and yellow. So I'm probably going to, and, and, and the, the, there's a frame with this um, uh, smaller piece of paper that is, looks like uh, a notebook, and that is a pattern paper from Discover and Create, and all of the embellishments are from Discover and Create. So for my page today, um, today happens to also be our uh, anniversary. John and I were married in on this date in 1981, so it would have been 43 years. Um, and I'm, of course, scrapping a wedding photo. <laughs> and... Um, and I'm going to use, uh, I'm trying, looking around, trying to figure out which collection to use. I'm going to use all my favorite collections, a little bit from each of them. Of course, there's going to be some Jimmy, some uh, Jimmy, listen to me. Um, I've got Jimmy Buffett on the mind, and I'm looking at something that, that uh, <laughs> brings Jimmy Buffett to mind. If Jimmy Buffett had a collection, I promise you I'd be using it. Um, maybe I'll set, when I put it out on uh, Instagram, maybe I'll set it to some Jimmy Buffett music. Anyway, um, so I've got some Vicki Booten and some Paige Evans and some, um, some Summer Sizzle from, which is the, the my latest obsession is Hip Kit Club. But I've also got some um, Cocoa Vanilla Sunkissed. And I th I th I'm going to try to use a little bit of each of those. Uh, I'm also doing the Summer Challenge. And, and of course, I'm going to try to, to um, 
to get in all of those. I need a rectangle and I have a rectangle here. I need the color yellow. Well, the color yellow is going to be all over the place. Um, I need something wood. I have a little tiny title piece that says Life's a Beach. And I'm going to put it down here. I need a border punch or die. And I've got this border punch that I don't know if you can even see that. There you go. That might be a little more visible. It punched out this. And I punched this out of some um, cocoa vanilla sun-kissed paper. And it left me with a little tiny strip up at the top. So I'm going to use that strip here. And that's going to kind of stand in for the, the framework that's around there. I'm going to have uh, one strip on the bottom and one strip on the top. And what else do I need? A texture paste. So I used a uh, scrap of sketch stencil. And Lisa will be happy to see that I included the triangles on here. It had the arrows, triangles, plus signs, and bubbles. So I thought I would get those in there. So I think all of the requirements are, are, are met. So let's start putting this puppy together. Okay. I have got this um, tag from... Sweet Rush, and I'm going to kind of set it this way. That's almost the same size. I'm going to cut this down. I don't like that that's the same size. I want it smaller. I want them, and it's, it's extra because I don't have as big a... Um, tag as the one I made for the first page. Okay, hopefully that cut straight. It doesn't look like it did, but I'm going to have faith. So I'll do that. Okay, so that's already down. This is going to go down, but I'm going to put it on some foam. And we may, this page may take a minute because I'm going to go through. I've just pulled some stuff onto my desk without any idea what I was going to use from the package. It's just packages of stuff I like. And I wanted to make this a not a sad page, a, a not sad page. So I'm using happy colors and happy images and, and these images and colors and and icons are representative of the awesome life we had together. And yes, a, um, there's a huge miss you <laughs> implicit in all of it, but I don't want to pass up the opportunity to express some appreciation for what we had and how fortunate we were. Um, I've got this on here, but if I put it there, it's uh, it needs some support over on this side. So it's all happy colors and happy memories and a happy page. Um, many of you know that um, I got my uh, first, I got my 1,000 subscribers. I found out that I had gotten, I was notified of my 1,000 subbies. Um, just a couple days before John passed away and <clears throat> I was able to tell him about it and he was so excited and so proud. 
So I feel like he's sharing all of this um, craziness that's happening. He's the one who talked me into doing trying doing videos when I thought I was too old to learn anything new, and I was <laughs> and am. <laughs> but he didn't. He made me think I shouldn't let that stop me. So I'm putting this little. I just love the sandcastles and the the buckets and the starfish there. This is one of my favorite border punches. Maybe one of the first border punches I've ever owned. I ever owned. I'm just going to put this. And I'm putting the color stripes in a different order. I've got the purple on the left here and I have the purple on the right up here. And these colors, I think, go with the Sweet Rush colors. And I love the mixed media look that's on there. Um, I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to have other things. That might look like titles. <laughs> um, on there. Let me see. I wanted to use this tag that says Hello Sunshine. And the sunshine is kind of cut through. So I'm going to have to be a little bit careful how I put that down. So I'm adding another tag image to the, the mix. And I probably want something colorful behind there. Uh, let me see what I might use. Okay, I, I have pulled out some tropical leaves. Let me see if my idea was that I would use these in the these two opposite corners. And I'm not sure I could do that. Let's see, I can use this one as well. My <clears throat> trimmer has just adjusted itself. And let me see if I can find a... What I'm trying to figure out is maybe I also want some leaves or a leaf, maybe here I'm going to do a pink leaf and these are um, vellum leaves from the summer sizzle which was the July kit with hip kit club so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of adhesive under here so they stay in the same place and the the tag shows up a lot better that way okay this and then I thought I would use ooh I have a yellow circle. Where would that want to go? Maybe right there. And then I could add something small there, but it's just too much to pass up. I want to add yellow accents all around. 
Okay, so let's do, let's see if I have a small floral cluster that I could use up here. there or even underneath maybe like I don't really want to lose any of the words obviously but I also don't want this smashed down right on top of those leaves. So I'm going to put it right there and let it stick by its own, um, its own, by its own self. Where is my, where are my tweezers? Put that there and I have piled things on top of other things and lost my tweezers. Okay, so I will, there they are. Let's go, <clears throat> put a little bit of adhesive under there. And this blue, the really dark blue one, I'm going to slide under that way. And then this one that has some blue and teal, I will slide under there. And I'm going to pick a large cluster here and put it, I'm not going to hide all the triangles, but there's a couple that the texture paste isn't perfect, so I don't mind hiding those. Let's see, I'm going to do that right there, but I want some foam. this way. There. And then I'm going to do something up here too. And I'll use this leaf. I can't even tell you how much, well, you can probably guess how much I love these vellum leaves. Okay, there. And then let's find a, I like this one because I can envision this pink hibiscus extending out over the <clears throat> Excuse me. By the time you watch this, I will know whether I passed my um, pre-op. Uh, okay, here and and whether or not I'm approved to have my shoulder surgery. Okay, so I'll put that there. I've got my three clusters and I can have something small down here and maybe I'll do another. I'm just going crazy with these clusters or I can do some other type of image. Maybe I'll do the little sunglasses here because 
as much as we loved um, travel and especially beach travel, um, sunny climate kinds of travel. Um, we lived our lives in sunglasses. <laughs> we, we, uh, sunglasses were our friend. Okay, let's do this. And then we'll go look in some of the other, I've used a, a little, this, um, this paper right here is a Paige Evans, it's from Adventurous. And um, this is from Sweet Rush, Vicki Booten. This is from Sunkissed Cocoa Vanilla. I'm gonna do that, and then, and then the vellum leaves and the florals are all from the um, from the summer sizzle collection. I think I'm done with that. I like um, this little tab from Coco Vanilla, and um, it's yellow, so I'm going to try to separate it from its adhesive there, and let me put, it's a little slightly different color of yellow, which means it, it kind of contrasts a little bit with the, uh, with the frame. And, and I like that about it. And I have pulled this word strip, which says the good life. And I'm going to put that down. I think I'm gonna take these things off the table at the moment. And This is going to end up looking as though it it's influenced by, but not a direct copy, not more of the same of the original. And I like that about it. I think there's a backing on this and I need to get it off before it will stick to the foam tape. It is, I love when Sunkiss does these six by 12 uh, sticker sheets, there are all these words and phrases down at the bottom and they are always the best. To me, there's not any other collection that does the words and phrases any better. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge fan. I tend to think a lot of their collections kind of look the same. The flowers all look the same and, and, and that way they mix well together. I don't have any objection per se, but their kind of word strips are just special. Okay, so I'm going to put it actually on the photo because that's what we were embarking on here. It's August 8th, 1981. Embarking on the good life. <laughs> and so I need to keep these. I'm going to keep them handy. There's... Um, this little strip... In the original, I had a strip here that says, when life gets blurry, adjust the focus. So this says, nothing but sunshine and blue skies. And I'm just gonna put it down here just as a nod to that. And it kind of balances. If I got it straight, it would be a good balance, I would think but I don't have it straight. 
there. I think that that works. I have this little half tab here that I'm going to put right there and I will find a word strip or something to put across there. I just couldn't not use that. I was going to use this rainbow, but this is kind of a rainbow-esque, so I didn't feel I needed to do that. Um, I love these puffy bits, and Uh, what's appealing to me here are these guys. These little um, look like citrus bits. I'll do those. Okay. Now, there are some sequins in the adventurous pack and I'm going to cut that these are unopened at the moment I'm going to cut the pack and hope that it stays upright until I'm ready what I'm looking at <laughs> are these um, sequin leaves Seems like I might be able to use some of those. And, and there's some others in there. So I'll leave that off to the side. And we'll go here. What I had my eye on was this yellow flower and also this let's go. So I'm going to use the let's go. And... It's going to look like a title, but my title is Life's a Beach. This is from Adventurous by Paige Evans. Let me get this off. Um, I should have just pulled the thing out, but I, but no, I, that's too simple and too logical. I probably will need to go back and, and re-glue that, um, Okay, so I'll have that on there. Um, do I want this yellow flower? Maybe right there. I don't. I don't think so. I think I'll save it for another page. Um, is there something I can use up here? There's travel often. There's the best day. Okay, here we go. The best day. It was, because it was the beginning of all the other days. And then, maybe here, I use this little... pink flower. Okay, so that's um, all from this sticker sheet from Paige. This is a Vicki Booten sticker sheet from Bold and Bright. And I'm going to use, there are these little 
splats that are just adorable and I'm gonna use a few of those let's see Let's see if I can get a different color there okay there's this little green-ish one. I'm going to put it right there. That's, a, that's blue. Go figure. Okay, so now, in addition, it, like to, to make those into clusters, I thought, okay, is that, that's loose. Is this sticking? It's not sticking because the texture paste is there. So let me There we go. Now I'll I'll worry about that later. There was a um there's this Cherish This sticker, and there's Bold and Bright, but I think I'm going to go with Cherish This, even though it's written in red, and I don't have any other red anywhere. Um, sorry about that. That's, a, that's an alarm that I don't need. I'm going to... Maybe do this here, or where do I even want to use it? Um, I'll cover up the hole with that and then it'd be nice if I had something back there and let's see if I can just use a little piece of this paper and I'm gonna round off the edges and make it into a tab it'll increase the importance of that if I have this behind it. So just a simple little uh, addition there and it it shows up a lot better and that just kind of adds to that uh, that ambiance there. I'm gonna add a one of these guys, this orange one, maybe right there. And I want to maybe repeat that. Here's a kind of red-ish one. I'll do that. Or actually, let's... I'm going to switch some colors. I'm going to move this yellow one over here. And I'll move that pinkish one there. And I'm going to put the pinkish one here. Or another pinkish one there. Okay. And now I'm going to go... I have to do my hearts, of course. And I thought I would do those on the big tag. And I have my Bramble Fox Lime Green Heart, which is kind of my thing. And the color John would want would, would be that bright yellow, but I don't have any bright yellow um, Bramble Fox Hearts the pale yellow that I had just I didn't think would work so I've got 
that. Now let's go for some of these sequins. i tell you what I'm going to do. My normal little tray that's here is not, um, is nowhere to be found. I've moved it to some other part of the room. So I'm going to pour those out and I'm going to see I kind of like that. Just a little bit of a kind of shiny foil accent um, just really seems like it would light up these clusters. That's my thought there. And I'm layering a foil leaf on top of a vellum leaf, which is kind of an interesting concept. And I'm going to do another flower. This is kind of a pinkish reddish bronze. It's an unusual color, but I think it the shine is going to make all the difference there. I like that idea. Okay, now I'm going to pull yellow sequins from the from the collection and kind of put those around. Maybe right there I'll use a pink sequin. There's yellow, pink, and blue. And that pink kind of goes with the inside of what I'm going to call a grapefruit. And let me go up here and do what the heck I'll do a yellow sequin right here and let it overlap that little tab and it seems like I would want a yellow sequin down here So let's do that. Oops, and I have these little stars and they're kind of falling all around. So I'm gonna go with that and just kind of have them in random places. Maybe not so random. And I still need something kind of pretty right there. So let's do this. I have this little pack of enamel stickers and there is a geotag in here that's this hot pink. I'm just going to put it right there, and I'm going to add a few of the little dots around. Let me put that there and kind of pair them up maybe with the sequins and... Let's see, I don't want to put that up there. Let's put a yellow. And I will raise the geotag a little bit just to get that right. And those of you who follow my um, kind of uh, my icons for each member of the family know that John is a penguin and a sunflower. I, those 
icons represent him and I'm a turtle so <laughs> just like Ava is a baby squirrel and Katie is a Katie by a ladybug. Let's see. I do want another star, I think. Maybe right there. Let's see if I can accomplish that with my finger. There we go. <laughs> that, that worked. Who knew? I'm doing this one, you know, as you can see, a lot differently from the original because it's not meant to be a, a copy but more of a uh, an influenced by okay and I need another star or something cute down here I'm gonna put a I'm going to put a hot pink little enamel bit there and a another star and then we're done I think well no I have my uh, oh I started talking about the icon animals and I have flair with um, I have flair that was sent to me by one of my um, earliest subscribers, Di, thank you very much. <laughs> you know who you are. And the other is a turtle that was designed by Scrappy Adam, who's my partner in crime on uh, Scrap Backwards, and who is a really good friend of mine and who I kind of wanted to acknowledge here. He was also an early subscriber. Okay, so here I have the turtle and I'm going to maybe hide him in this cluster over here if I can get this to stop sticking there I'll maybe put it I need to put it so that it shows so that you can actually see that it's a turtle I'm just gonna let it stick there this is apparently holding it nicely and I'm gonna put John's sunflowers there's a pretty yellow bird there so I even I've even got the right color since this is yellow week. Oops, don't want it that far up and hoping it doesn't stick. And that teal watering can uh, is perfect for these, um, for this leaf. Okay. My page is done. It's a, uh, um, a heavily embellished, crowded, uh, typical Scrappy Kathy page. Bright and colorful, like the life that we were about to embark on there in, in 1981. And I thank you all for watching. I thank you all for subscribing and liking and, and commenting and and giving me the feedback that keeps me getting up in the mornings and and heading for my um for my table i i thank you all so so much and i as many of you know i will be uh kind of absent from the from youtube at least process videos uh once i have my surgery on the 13th and but i'm going to try to figure out something that I can film and not have to reach for supplies. So I've got a few projects in mind. I don't have them fully uh, fleshed out yet, but I'll be back in touch. And again, thank you very, very much. And I truly believe 
life's a beach. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's kind of what you make it, and it's you all make it really fun for me. So I thank you very much for that. And all my favorite, all my favorite colors, all my favorite designers, all my favorites here on this page. I, I, the one thing I might add, and, and it might go, I might do one here and one here. So I'm going to go look through my laser cut butterflies from um, 49 and Market. I, my 49 and Market supplies are kind of hidden because I had some electronics issues and we had to move some things around and I didn't bring them to the forefront and I, I thought last night, oh, I need to get some, some butterflies and I didn't do it. So I will find something in this color range here, this um, kind of pink pinkish, fuchsia, purplish kind of range. So I thank you so much for watching. Bye.